Since I have a traditional 401k program where I work, and I don't get a lot of choices in how that's invested, I just get chunked into groups, and I was wondering if I'd be better off reinvesting that somewhere with an independent investor and I had more freedom to select my choices. Well, I sympathize with you. It's a drag when you have a 401k plan that you think is not up to snuff either because the investment choices are inferior or because the fees are high. Uh, that said, though, I think you should think really hard before uh, abandoning the plan and investing outside of it. Usually, you're better off staying with your 401k and making uh, the best out of the choices that you have. So let's look at a, a couple of scenarios. Uh, first, if your 401k plan offers an employer match, say your employer kicks in 50% of the first 6% of salary that you contribute, uh, you're almost always better off investing uh, through the plan. And the reason is, if you don't go through uh, uh, the plan, if you don't contribute to your 401k, you're giving up that, that match, that free money, and that can really uh, boost uh, your return over the long run. Now, if you're already contributing enough to get the match, or if your 401k doesn't offer a, a match at all, uh, you can look at tax advantage options outside your 401k. So for example, by opening up a traditional IRA or a Roth IRA, uh, you, you can get many of the tax advantages that you get with a 401k, plus you get a much broader range of, of investments. Uh, you also want to remember uh, that the maximum amount that you can contribute to uh, an IRA this year, which is $5,000 uh, plus an extra $1,000 if you're 50 year older, is usually lower than what you can put away in a 401k. So if you're maxing out on your uh, IRA and still have other money to save, you also want to throw some money into your, your 401k. Now, what you don't want to do is leave your 401k if your only other choice is investing in a regular taxable account. And that hardly ever uh, pays because you're giving up all the tax benefits of the, of the uh, 401k and you're not getting those benefits in the taxable account and you're having to pay taxes on realized gains in that account and that um, lowers your return. Uh, one final thing uh, that you may want to do is consider lobbying for a better 401k with your employer. Uh, if you go to a site called brightscope.com, uh, you'll see how your uh, 401k stacks up against 401ks of similar companies. And if yours doesn't uh, compare very favorably, maybe you could take that information uh, to your HR or your personnel department and perhaps convince them uh, to improve your plan, maybe offer better investing choices, maybe reduce the fees.